In this video, we will have another exercise, uh, another easy exercise. Um, your task is to write a program that prints out the total number of new line spaces and tabs of a user input. Um, yeah, this one is very easy, so go ahead, try it by yourself. And once you're finished, watch this video and compare the solution with your solution. Okay, so for the solution, I will use our well-known structure again. I will also set up a variable C. We already know that. I will uh, work within a while loop. We also know that. And I will assign the value of getTraw to C and compare that to UF for the text. Um, I will work with arrays here. So um, yeah, how do I call that? I call, just call that count, I think. And I will assign the value of 0, 0 and 0 to it as in 0 new lines, 0 spaces and 0 tabs. So the first value, the 0 index value is the value of my new lines. The first, in, uh, I mean the index 1 is um, the number of spaces in the text and two, the tabs. Um, okay, so inside the while loop, I just have uh, the condition and I check, is that a new line? If that is a new line, count zero, increment count zero. If that is a space, oh, I like to have some extra spaces here. Uh, increment count one and if that is a tab, increment count two. Um, this structure is a little bit new because it's a so-called if else if else structure. Um, so you can see this one. I don't have an else block here, I just use it. This is optional. Um, you could use just the ifs here. That is perfectly okay. Um, but if you use the else if structure, you have the following um, outcome from this one. Um, imagine you have something you want to do when you have a new line or the character A. And you have something you want to do when you have um, a space and the character A. If I do it like this, only the first, um, if I get a character A, only the first if statement will be executed and after that it will leave this structure. If I just have if, 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 and I have, let's say here, or this is A and here also, or this is A, it will actually be executed two times. So just see this structure as a linked uh, block where um, if I have multiple ways to um, react to uh, the same variable or the same input, only the first occurrence of that input will be taken into consideration. Um, of course, I don't need that here. I just wanted to show that to you. I could work with if, 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 and uh, you probably did that and it's just fine. Um, yeah, okay, that's it. I just can write my printf function. I hope that was clear what I meant. If not, it's not a problem because we will work with that uh, later on. So you can try that by yourself or um, you can just follow the tutorial. It will be clear later. Mm, there are a number of new lines, uh, a number of spaces and a number of tabs in the given text. Count, oh, count zero, count one and count two. Um, 
yeah, that one should already be working perfectly fine. So I will try to compile that one. And I will execute it. So now I can provide it with a little text here. And I need to make sure I have I have all the um, characters that I want to count inside of here. So now I'm going to using some tabs, um, just two tabs. That's enough. Yeah, we have three new lines, five spaces and two tabs in the given text, with, which is, yeah, that's true. Um, you can count that by yourself if you want. Um, yeah, that one was a pretty easy program. As you can see, you just need to have um, the if conditions, you, you can leave that out. Like I said, it's perfectly okay if you just use the if statements. Um, I just wanted to show that. You could do one more thing to improve this program because now you saw we used almost everything we learned already. We used the um, integer array, uh, which we didn't use quite a lot. So it is also perfectly fine if you create a new variable for all these uh, things but it would be better if you use an array of course because this is some kind of a logical unit uh, for that task um, also we used a loop you could also use a for loop here we used um, conditions so that's basically all we used until now you could also go ahead and use constants which makes perfectly sense in this um, uh, in this exercise, which is why I also want to show that to you. So maybe I can, yeah, help you a little bit understanding the meaning of constants a little bit better. So what we wanted to uh, count was the new lines, which had the index zero. We wanted to count the spaces, which had the index one, and we wanted to count um, the tabs, which had the index two. And now I can go ahead and can say, okay, this one will count. Uh, the, this one is um, for the new lines. We count up the new lines, we increment them. This one is for the spaces as well as this. And the last one is for the tabs. And now you can, you have a better readability inside of your program because now I can say, okay, count new lines up or count spaces up or count tabs up. I can read that like, uh, like a real text and uh, this will make my program much more readable. Okay, and yeah, now we really used almost everything that we've learned inside of one easy exercise, um, which is great because we want to build up on that knowledge and we need to make sure that you know and you can use all of that what we've learned so far. So that is why we will go ahead and have some more exercises. Um, they will be a little bit more difficult, um, but the next one will be like this example again. So you can have more practice for, uh, yeah, for this kind of tasks. Really. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.